All right, here we are. Welcome back. This is Jeremiah Conjure from Annuity Association, tuning in live for another, you guessed it, exciting, unbiased annuity review. Uh, today, I'm really excited to be discussing this particular product. Um, it's one of the uh, innovators in the space, if you will, uh, with some exciting new features, uh, specifically um, some guarantees that have never uh, been before offered by an A plus rated company or higher in this particular annuity. So very exciting. Uh, it's a great time to be a part of this industry and helping retirees, you know, with their future uh, in regards to putting some protections on their money or giving them opportunities to safely grow their money uh, or create lifetime income streams. Um, the annuity space is really innovating itself and, and a lot of uh, new products are launching with a lot of very attractive features and benefits to address the major concerns that retirees have today. So if you're uh, in the market looking for a way to safely grow your money um, or you're looking to create a, an income stream, but doing so with minimal risk, um, this is definitely going to be a product that may pique your interest. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you get some value out of this video today, please give us a thumbs up, maybe like or share it with a friend or family member that may also be in the market for this particular product or feature and or benefits. Um, it's, you know, without uh, people tuning in and watching this content, um, it's really just a lost cause. So I, I put this stuff out there um, to, to bring more transparency to the annuity buying process for you, the end consumer to ultimately help you make an educated decision on which annuity is right for you and helping you meet your outlaw or defined uh, financial objectives. So, um, you know, in this industry, um, because of it being uh, more of a uh, a face to face uh, type of interaction um, and there has been very minimal resources for the independent consumer looking to 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 uh, you know, review these various products and features and benefits and trying to identify with them. Uh, we saw the need in the market and uh, we want to make sure that we deliver for that. So uh, in the meantime, if if you uh, are interested in working with me directly, I am an independent annuity advisor. I work with every major insurance company in the United States and I work with clients um, like yourself all over the U.S. So uh, I use a secure remote virtual portal to conduct our meeting process. So if you're interested in working together, um, I'd be honored for that opportunity. You can visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right there on the main page, click your green the green button to request your free report, and you'll be taken to a series of opt-in questions. One of those being, would you like to be contacted by an advisor? Simply answer yes, and I will reach out to you in a timely fashion. Or if you're very uh, tech savvy on the computer, um, there also is a button on that main page as well where you can schedule your virtual meeting with me right away uh, and you don't have to worry about me reaching out to you. So um, it'll take you right to my calendar, show you the available uh, times and, and, and dates and schedule time that's convenient for you. So I uh, would be grateful for that opportunity. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our product um, disclaimer real quick, or, and uh, we'll get that fun stuff out of the way, and then we'll dive into uh, the rest of our product review. So if you haven't watched one of our reviews before, we're going to take a dive into the product brochure. We're also going to be taking a look at the uh, back-tested analysis to see what the potential uh, growth would have been if we owned this particular annuity over the last 10, 15, and 20 years. And then we'll be looking, if we have some time left, at an example illustration to kind of show you what this potentially looks like on a ledger to help you uh, make sense of the data that you might see on a potential illustration. So let me go ahead and share my screen here, and we will dive right in. Okay. So this is, uh, today's review is all about the Midland National accelerate five fixed indexed annuity so those not familiar with midland national they are a salmon's financial company they are the sister company to north american uh, insurance which is a um 
you know, another A plus rated company. And Midland National <clears throat> is a, an A plus rated company, a very, very strong company known for their, um, you know, growth products as well as income products and uh, just a great group in general. So today we're going to be discussing their recent, recently added um, Accelerate 5 fixed indexed annuity. This is an independent review brought to you by annuityassociation.com. This is a review, not a recommendation to buy or sell an annuity. Midland National has not endorsed this review in any way, nor do we receive any compensation for this review. This review is meant to be an independent review at the request of website visitors so they can see our perspective when breaking down the positives and negatives of this particular annuity. Before purchasing any investment product, be sure to do your own due diligence and consult a properly licensed professional should you have specific questions as they relate to your individual circumstances. All names, marks, and materials used for this review are property of their respective owners and not that of annuityassociation.com. While care has been made to ensure this review is complete and accurate, no guarantees are made to the completeness or accuracy. Okay, so we've gotten that out of the way. Let me go ahead and pull up the brochure and we will dive in. So again, we are discussing the Midland National Accelerate 5 Fixed Indexed Annuity. This is issued by Midland National Life Insurance Company, a Salmon's financial company. So the Accelerate 5 is all about helping you accelerate your path to retirement. Growth potential, certainty, and stability, no matter the market's fluctuations. So if you're finding yourself looking for a way to safely grow your money without having to rely on the stock market, a fixed indexed annuity is a great alternative to those looking for safe growth potential, but not having to take risks in the market. The few things in life are truly guaranteed, but the Midland National Accelerate 5 aims to provide growth potential with certainties. Now, you can guarantee your retirement savings never decreases due to market volatility and still participate in a portion of the market's upside potential. So a fixed indexed annuity, specifically the Accelerate 5, is designed to help you provide a guarantee contractually that's offered by the insurance company that your money will never decrease due to market volatility. But when the market does well, you still get to participate in a portion of that market's upside growth. And that's a promise of the Midland Accelerate 5 offered by Midland National. So let's talk about the lingo real quick. If you're not familiar with annuities, um, there are some key terms that will help you understand how your annuity works. An annuity represents a simple promise. It's an insurance contract. For your premium and the time you leave it with Midland National, Midland will promise to offer both growth potential and downside protection from market drops. In explaining the fine details, though, you might see some terms that are new to you. Let's look for some boxes like this. In volatility, the value will grow at a rate based on the fixed or indexed accounts you choose. Index accounts are tied to market performance, but they are not an actual investment in the stock market. In other words, you'll get credit for some of the market's growth in the uptimes, but in the downtimes, when the market sees zero gains or actually loses value, your accumulation value will never be at risk of decreasing due to those losses. We're about to go a little bit more in depth and how you can grow your money. So first uh, word in the lingo box is here to the left is premium. That is the amount paid to the insurance company to fund an annuity. In this particular product, the Midland National Accelerate 5 has a $20,000 minimum investment amount or premium amount for non-qualified and qualified premiums. And there are various uh, key benefits in the Midland National Accelerate 5. The first is understanding which strategies are available and which will suit you the best. Midland Accelerate offers a selection of industry-leading crediting strategies using an easy-to-apply participation rate, which uses a simple percentage multiplied by any index gain at the end of the contract year to determine the interest credit applied to your contract. We're going to be diving in, uh, delving into the specific index crediting strategy, 
strategies offered in the Midland National Accelerate 5. And using our software, we're going to go back and, and do a hypothetical back test that's going to show us the potential growth that could have occurred if we own this product during the last 10, 15, and 20 year periods. So we're going to give you an in-depth look at this specific index crediting strategies and essentially rank them in order from highest to lowest on who would have or which index strategy would have performed the strongest during this back tested period of time. So it's going to give us a really good idea of what this could have potentially done in the past. Now, you know, obviously, you know, past performance is not always an indicator of future performance. None of us have that crystal ball to really know what the markets are going to do moving forward. But I still feel it's uh, a good idea to know or at least have a, a, an idea of, you know, what type of growth could have been experienced in the past because we do know what the markets were like in the past given the uh, hindsight that we have today. So um, next is to, the ability to lock in. This is key, guys. This is that feature I was talking about where Midland is the first that I know of, A-plus rated insurance company that's offering this opportunity, and that is the ability to lock in a guaranteed participation rate. So one of the, um, you know, I guess down downfalls or pitfalls potentially, not in most cases it's not, but it could be. And it does raise some concern to people unfamiliar with annuities, especially fixed indexed annuities. And that is in most annuity contracts and most fixed indexed annuity contracts, the participation rates are not guaranteed, meaning the initial participation rate that you might sign up for in uh, product A the insurance company technically and contractually has the right to adjust that participation rate moving forward. If you're not familiar with what a participation rate is, it's base, It's very simple. It basically is the factor that's used to determine how much of the index ind indices growth do you participate in. So for example, if we allocate your funds to uh, one of the particular index crediting strategies offered in the Accelerate 5. And that particular index has a performance during that one-year crediting period of 10%, and you have a 100% participation rate, then that means you'd get all 10% of that index's performance credited to your account value. If it was a 50% participation rate, well, then you'd only get half. You'd get 10% multiplied by a 50% participation, and that would equal a 5% interest credit. So technically, in most fixed indexed annuities offered today, the insurance company has the right contractually to adjust that participation rate for the life of the contract. And that can make people feel a little weary, feel, make them feel a little uncomfortable that, you know, um, this participation rate can be played with, essentially, and it does impact directly how much interest you can potentially receive moving forward. So, um, you know, a lot of people have reservations about that. I don't blame them, but I think it's key in working with a subject matter expert in fixed indexed annuities that can show you the right products offered by the right companies that have a proven track record of very minimally, if any, adjusting those participation rates. The best companies in this product space, build these products with integrity without the intention of ever having to adjust those participation rates. So it's key to find an advisor, okay, that knows these products, know these companies, and has experience working with all of them to be able to decipher which ones stay true to their participation rate offers. Now, I'm not saying that they, mul they, they won't adjust them in the future. They, they might, but Whenever adjustments occur, at least in my experience, with the right companies, those participation rates are very minimally reduced or sometimes are even added on to. They're, they're actually positively increased uh, during the, the tenure of the contract. So, um, But this is a key feature, and I'm very excited as an annuity advisor to have an A-plus rated company 
that is now offering a product that guarantees the participation rates and that they won't go up or down for the entire duration of the contract. That's going to give us a lot of confidence and a lot of peace of mind going into this that over the next five years, since this is a five-year surrender period product, that we know those participation rates aren't going to change on us and we're going to um, sign up for what we're getting and we're going to have that for the entire duration of the contract. So it's huge. And I'm excited and I hope that additional companies are starting to follow suit with this feature and this benefit because it, it really takes a lot of the reservations or concern uh, that people may have about signing up for an indexed annuity with the long term um, because of the, 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 the participation rates not having a guarantee. Um, I do know of some B++ rated companies that offer some 10-year annuities that we're seeing um, the, uh, the participation rates being guaranteed for all 10 years. So we're seeing this step in the right direction. It's huge. But again, don't let that scare you. Uh, I have vast experience with several big players in the indexed annuity space that um, are known for not messing with participation rates. Even though they're not guaranteed in the contract, they still build the product with integrity without you know, needing to mess around with those par rates. They want to stay true to those because at the end of the day, these insurance companies, especially the big players that you've all heard of, their reputation lies on these par rates. And if they're playing the smoke and mirror game and baiting and switching people, believe me, that's going to get out there. It would get publicized very quickly and nobody would buy these products anymore. So again, it's very rare that participation rates adjust. If they do, it's very minimally. I'm talking 5 or 10%. Um, in either direction, both positive or negative. And, um, you know, I think I spent a lot of time here, but I just want to make sure I'm, um, um, you know, explaining the importance of this new lock in on these guaranteed participation rates offered in the middle of National Accelerate 5, because it's a huge benefit. So, having a guaranteed participation rate means that regardless of index performance, your participation rates won't go down over the five year surrender charge period. And it's only subject to change annually after that. So after you fulfill the five-year surrender charge period, you would then be in a month-to-month -month, um, you know, contract, if you will, with no obligation to stay. But if you do stay, um, they're going to give you a, what's called um, a renewal rate. And they're going to say, hey, here's the rates moving forward. Um, you know, and they might change. They might go down. They might stay the same. Uh, but at that time, you'd have the flexibility and optionality to move on if the participation rates were reduced significantly where it wasn't attractive any longer. Another benefit is the tax deferral. So indexed annuities are known for their tax deferral benefits. Tax deferral improves your growth potential. Your annuities value grows on a tax deferred basis, meaning more of it is working for you. Tax deferred growth means you don't owe taxes until you access your funds, allowing more time for growth potential. Work with your tax advisor to find out how this might work for you. So under the current law, annuities do grow tax deferred. An annuity is not required for tax deferral in qualified plans. And annuities may be subject to taxation during the income or withdrawal phase. Please note that neither Midland National nor uh, myself or any other financial professionals acting on its behalf should be viewed as providing legal tax or investment advice consult with and rely on your own qualified advisor. Another benefit of the Midland National Accelerate 5 is the ability to provide a lasting legacy. Your beneficiaries will get the remaining accumulation value of your annuity as a death benefit, either in an immediate lump sum or in installments. And because annuities may avoid the cost and delays of probate, they may not have to wait. Again, consult with your legal or tax advisor on that. But in general, um, annuities have designated beneficiary uh, on the applications at the time uh, that you apply for them. And by, by default, uh, the death benefits will follow those designations. And one of the biggest myths of annuities is that if you pass away, the insurance company keeps your, your money. That is entirely false, uh, especially in a fixed indexed annuity such as this one. 
Um, there's only one type of annuity structured in one particular way, which is very rare today. Um, and it's called a single premium immediate annuity, which is an income annuity. And if you structure it for life only and you pass away, the income payments cease and the balance or remaining account value stays with the insurance company. Of course, because of that trade off, you're going to receive a higher income amount than if you elected not to have a life only structure. But that's the only type of annuity that does that. This is a fixed indexed annuity structured for safe accumulation. It does have a de designated beneficiary um, for your loved ones. And the death benefit will always follow the account value dollar for dollar in the event of you pass away. So even during the five year period, if you're still within the five year contract term and you pass away in most states, okay, that death benefit is going to be the exact same amount as the account value. And you will not have your beneficiaries will not have to pay surrender charges or any other fees, um, you know, to access that money. And then last but not least, you can take advantage of flexible payment options, whether you need to start drawing income soon after purchasing your annuity, or you'd prefer to wait and build your lifetime income potential. There's an option for you. We'll learn more about that here coming up in the payout option section. So let's discover how your Midland National Accelerate 5 annuity can grow. The Midland National Accelerate 5 has a strategy and index account option to suit your style. Whether you like to take charge of your financial choices or prefer to set it and forget it. Whether you're interested in a fixed return, hoping for more growth potential, or a combination of the two. Choose your allocation options. Here you'll have total control over how your initial premium is allocated between the fixed account or index accounts. You can choose from several annual point-to-point -point crediting methods. And each index and the index account option on the next page may perform differently in various market scenarios. You also can unlock greater upside potential with what's called enhanced crediting methods. I really like this feature um, in this type of annuity. And that is in exchange for a charge. Okay, so there is an annual fee for this, this, um, this feature you can unlock a higher participation rate. The charge is deducted from your accumulation value and is guaranteed to stay the same for the life of the contract. The charge is deducted each term, okay, as a partial surrender from the index account value at the earliest of, any partial greater than the penalty free allowance during the year, full surrender or the end of the term. So we'll be looking at those uh, enhanced participation rates with if you elect to have the enhanced rider added to the contract. And we'll be taking a look at the specific fee. It's 1% on this product per year to add that and enhance the participation rates. But we'll be looking specifically in our software here momentarily. So stay tuned to see, you know, what would been what what, what would have been the hypothetical growth potential if we own the product over the last 10, 15, or 20 years with the enhancement and without it so that we can make an educated decision on whether or not we see value and if it makes sense you know, for our situation. Everybody's situation is different. Some people talk to me and you know, they're like, Jeremiah, you know, I'm just a simple person. I don't like fees. I just want to you know, set it up without the enhancement and that's perfectly fine. Um, other people say, look, I really can sleep at night knowing that I'm getting this principal protection guarantee. And if all I'm potentially losing, if you will, is 1% per year because maybe the markets perform poorly or the index strategies perform poorly for that given year, well, you would have only gotten a zero. You'll never get a negative credit because of the index's performance. Um, but, you know, because of the 1% charge. So I always look at it as it's a 1% minus 1% floor. For the opportunity to have a higher growth potential moving forward, you're accepting a minus 1% floor in any given year should the index has not perform positively. You'd get a zero for the index, uh, negative index performance, but a minus 1% for the charge. So it's a good way to look at it. But either way, it's ultimately up to you and what you're comfortable for. Uh, my job is just to educate you on the differences between the two and help you make an educated decision. So here's a couple lingo terms. Accumulation value is the uh, stick to the terms of your annuity contract. And the accumulation value is the number you're going to get to work from 
at the end, it's equal to the sum of 100% of the premium you invested, any fixed and indexed account interest you've been credited minus any withdrawals that have been taken. And then interest credits are when you choose one or more index accounts, the actual amount of interest credited to you is determined by a formula. The amount added to your contract is called credited interest. Don't get freaked out by that word formula. It's very simple. It's the index's growth from the starting point, okay, to the ending point. So during that one-year crediting period, the starting point would be the date your, your policy is issued. The ending point would be the, the one year anniversary. If the index value is higher at the ending point than the starting point, then it had positive growth. Let's say that positive growth was 10%. It went up 10% during that year of time. They then take that 10% growth, multiply it by your participation rate percentage. If it's 100%, you get all 100% of the growth. If it's 90%, you get 90% of that growth during the one year. Very simple. Okay. Midland National Accelerate 5 guarantees. No matter how you diversify among the strategies, you'll lock into the participation rate for the first five years, and you'll know what to expect from your Midland National Accelerate 5 fixed index annuity each year. So let's look at the available allocation options. In addition to the fixed account, there are various index crediting options here below. We'll have an annual point-to-point -point with participation rate, and the indexes that are available for that are the S&P Mark V, the Fidelity Multi-Factor Yield Index, and the BlackRock ESG US 5% Index Excess Return. And they also offer the same annual point-to-point, -point, but with a enhanced participation rate that is subject to that 1% annual charge. And again, all three of those same indices are available for that as well. And then, of course, they have a fixed account, which um, at this time, we'll, we'll take a look. It's offering a guaranteed 1.9% in the fixed account. So not bad. Definitely better than the highest bank certificates of deposit that you can find on the market today. So let's talk about reallocation. Most people don't know that in these indexed annuities, you can reallocate your funds on an annual basis. In this case, it'd be an annual basis. So upon your anniversary, every one year, um, you're going to receive communication from Midland National that'll say, here's your performance for the year. Here's how the uh, indices uh, performed, the index crediting strategies performed, and here are the um, rates that are offered. Obviously, they're all guaranteed, so they're all going to stay the same for all five years. And then at that time, your financial professional should be setting up an annual review with you to help you understand the performance and also whether or not to reallocate your funds across the you know, various index options that are available. Uh, sometimes, you know, with us, uh, an annuity association, my clients, when we that is a value add that we offer, every client of ours gets a, an annual or biannual review conducted. There's uh, no reason that your financial professional offering this annuity should not do that. Um, even though we're not paid on the management per se, we do receive a commission that's paid to us directly from the insurance companies. And, you know, we're paid fair, you know, very well on these products for bringing assets to the insurance companies. And I believe that relationships matter. This isn't a one and done deal. If we work together, it's an ongoing relationship for the entire duration of this contract. And hopefully as long as we can uh, in your retirement uh, journey, you know, throughout your retirement journey. And my job and the value that we offer here at Annuity Association is to help you get the most out of your annuity. I mean, if you're buying this for growth, we want to make sure that we're managing it and reallocating it uh, as we deem necessary to help you get the most growth potential moving forward. And if we're not paying attention to it or we're not offering these reviews, um, then you know, you're not going to get the most optimal growth potential moving forward. So it's something that we do for every client of ours. Uh, we're, we're proud of that. And I can't tell you how much we do hear from, you know, new clients that come to us that have owned annuities in the past 
And, um, you know, we asked them, have you, did your, the person that offered you this annuity that you currently own, did they ever review this with you on an annual or biannual basis, depending on the crediting strategy? And uh, most oftentimes we hear the answer is no. And so we see a huge need for that in the market and it's something that we, we offer. And it's uh, on our end, it's non-negotiable. Every client gets the opportunity to have a review conducted and we're flexible in our schedule. We'll make it work whenever is a time that's convenient for you. So to, to reallocate, um, there are a few options below. So the uh, S&P multi-asset risk controlled 5% excess return index. All of these indices are going to have a publicly tracked uh, ticker symbol similar to a stock or a, um, a market fund. And they also have a direct website that you can get all of the information to. In this case, it's spglobal.com. But the S&P Mark V Excess Return Index is a multi-asset excess return index that strives to create more stable index performance through diversification and excess return methodology and volatility. Uh, example is what we refer to as risk control. So this is what we refer to as a multi-asset risk controlled index. It's an algorithmic based, smart learning capable index strategy that has rules and parameters that it follows based on certain economic conditions. And when those economic conditions arise, then the index methodology knows to then move or shift or rebalance away from volatility amongst the particular asset class that may be experiencing it. And it shifts away from that volatility to help hedge it and also take advantage of it in an uncorrelated asset class that may benefit from the volatility of that other asset class. So I hope that makes sense. It can get a little uh, in the in the weeds there, um, but uh, very cool technology, very good um, idea to have a multi-asset risk controlled index strategy as part of your allocation in these annuities because the key there is to give you consistent growth and an asset controlled, multi-asset risk controlled index strategy can do that uh, very well. The index applies rules to adjust allocations among multiple asset classes, creating a diversified basket of these assets. And the index then adds an element of risk control by applying rules to allocate between this basket and cash. The index is managed to a 5% volatility level. So for example, if uh, the equity portion of this index is experiencing a level of volatility above and beyond 5%, the index will dynamically shift away from that equity position and rebalance it to an uncorrelated asset class that comprises this index strategy to hedge the volatility. Next, we have the Fidelity Multi-Factor Yield Index, which is also a 5% volatility controlled index. Excuse me. The Fidelity Multi-Factor Yield Index, 5% excess return, is a multi-asset rules-based index that blends a multi-factor equity starting universe with U.S. Treasuries and uses a dynamic allocation approach that seeks to reduce volatility and deliver a more consistent investment experience over time. The starting portfolio is a combination of six factors with predetermined weights and a tilt towards high dividend yielding companies. A fixed income overlay is applied and the volatility levels of the combined portfolio are analyzed daily and components are adjusted to meet a 5% volatility target. And then BlackRock ESG, US 5% index excess return. The BlackRock ESG, US 5% index excess return. Objective is to offer exposure to the iShares ESG aware MSCI USA ETF subject to a 5% target volatility. The index manages to target to the target volatility by incorporating fixed income U.S. Treasury iShares ETFs in a cash constituent. The index tracks the return of the weighted ETFs and any cash constituent above the sum of the return on the interest rate and the index fee. So uh, for those not familiar, the ESG um, is kind of a new, a newer up and coming. It's becoming gaining a lot of popularity in the uh, investment world. Um, and it, it's really based on uh, three components. So the BlackRock ESG specifically is comprised of companies that follow the ESG 
uh, terminology or philosophy, and that is um, economic or uh, excuse me, uh, ec ecological. So they're ecologically friendly. So there are going to be companies that are green, uh, companies that are, you know, all about the environment. And the S stands for social. So there are also companies that are very uh, up to par with um, the social um, economic environment that we live in today. And, you know, they're very well aware of the social uh, importance of so the social economic um, platform. And then G is governance. So these companies have a very strong governance to uphold, um, you know, their, their morals and ethics according to this ESG philosophy. So the companies that comprise this index are going to be following that ESG uh, philosophy very strictly. So a lot of people are very uh, into that at this time. I think it's a great thing. Uh, we had a couple uh, language uh, terminology things here. So the reallocation options. So after the first contract year and on an annual basis, you may elect to transfer between crediting methods and index account options, including the fixed account. Based on current tax laws, transfers between options will not be taxable or subject to surrender penalties. And by company practice, you will have 30 days following each contract anniversary to reallocate. So with our clients, that's what we'll do is uh, contact you usually within 60 days of your anniversary date to get a time on the books to set up our review so that we can help you make an educated decision on whether or not we should reallocate at that time or during that period of time. Uh, again, if you're interested in working with me directly, I'd be honored for the opportunity to do so. You can uh, visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right there on the main page, click the green button to request your free report. Then you'll be taken to a series of questions, one of those being, would you like to be contacted by an advisor? Simply answer yes, and I will reach out to you in a timely fashion. Again, I work with clients in all 50 states, and I'd be honored to help point you in the right direction regarding your annuity search. And then we have the annual reset. This is a feature I think that is often overlooked and not discussed enough, and this is one of the key features that I feel indexed annuities you know, really make a difference with. The annual reset allows an interest credit, if any, to be added to the index account at the end of each index term. That amount, when added, becomes locked in because it cannot be taken away due to negative index performance. The locked in interest credit will be added to the accumulation value, giving you the advantage of compounding in subsequent years. This feature also resets your starting index point each new index term. Annual resets can be a benefit if the index experiences a severe downturn during the term because at the beginning of the next term, you can take advantage of any gains from that point forward. Without this feature, you would have to wait for the index to climb to its original level before any gains could be realized. So they summed it up very handsomely there. Um, the way I explain it is think about being invested in the stock market, okay? If, this, if your account, your portfolio goes down 10% in, in a year, and then the next year you're, you know, hoping that it grows, well, you have to wait for it to at least break even again. It has to at least come back up and, um, you know, re, you have to recapture that 10% that you lost. And then anything above and beyond that is then considered positive growth, right? Well, in an indexed annuity, because of this reset feature, even in any given year where the index was down and you just got a zero for that year because of, you know, the negative performance, you just get a zero. Well, the very next year or the next reset period, you don't have to wait for the index value to break even again. You just get a, you get issued a new starting point on your anniversary of that index value and where it is on that new crediting period. So if it does go back up, you're starting from that low point. So you get to take advantage of all that momentum going back up. You don't have to wait for the index to break even from where it was before, before you can receive any interest growth. That's a huge feature. I don't think advisors talk about it enough. It's something that I bring up quite a bit. And uh, I think it's important to uh, understanding these products. 
Okay, so know the lingo, market value adjustments. This refers to a feature which may decrease or increase your surrender value depending on the change in the market value adjustment external index rate since you purchased your annuity. Market value adjustments only apply during this, the surrender charge period. So in this case, it's five years and it only applies if you surrender your account, meaning you're exiting your contract early, you're not fulfilling your five years. In the event that that occurs, a market value adjustment may apply, and that can be either negative or positive, depending on the uh, interest rate environment at that time. You see these insurance companies buy, um, you know, usually uh, corporate bond blocks and things to offer these types of products. And so when they're buying a corporate bond that has a maturity date, okay, and you're not holding up your end of the bargain to fulfill your contract, well, then they have to sell their positions out of those corporate bonds. And if the interest rate environment is different than when they purchase them, okay, they're, they're going to experience either a gain or a loss because of that difference in the interest rate environment. And they pass that on to someone not holding up their end of the deal in these uh, five-year products. Uh, in the form of a market value adjustment. So it can be uh, an increase to your balance. It can be a decrease, but it's just a safety provision for the insurance company that should someone exit early, they're not having to foot the bill for having to sell their their bond holdings uh, earlier than they anticipated. Surrender charge is if you need funds before you planned, you may run the risk of incurring what's called a surrender charge. A surrender charge is assessed on any amount withdrawn in excess of the penalty-free amount and may result in a loss of premium. You don't have to worry about it if you avoid excess withdrawals for the entire surrender charge period. And then surrender value is the amount uh, that could be less than your accumulation value. It's what you'd get if you ended your contract today, and here's how the math works. It's your accumulation value uh, minus or uh, positive the market value adjustments if applicable, minus surrender charges, minus state premium taxes if applicable, and that would equal your surrender value. After your surrender period, you'd potentially only be responsible for state premium taxes. And there are options for accessing your monies inside of the Midland National Accelerate 5. What if you need funds sooner than you planned? Like most annuities, you'll be limited in when and how much you can withdraw from your annuity penalty free. However, the Midland National Accelerate 5 does allow you to access a portion of funds each year, taking out more than what's available penalty-free will occur, incur a surrender charge. A market value adjustment may also apply. Withdrawals may be treated by the government as ordinary income. If taking prior to age 59 and a half, a withdrawal could also be subject to a 10% IRS penalty. Withdrawals will reduce your accumulation value accordingly. The penalty-free withdrawals offered uh, in this contract are available after the first contract anniversary. So starting in the second contract year, you may choose to take a penalty-free withdrawal, also known as a penalty-free partial surrender, of any amount up to the previous year's credited interest. If you withdraw more than that, a surrender charge and market value adjustment may apply. After the surrender charge period, surrender charges and a market value adjustment will, will no longer apply. And by current company practice, Midland National will waive Surrender charges and market value adjustments on any portion of an IRS required minimum distribution that goes beyond what's available to you penalty free. So in this particular product, um, they do offer what they're basically saying here is that you can take out any previous year's interest. So if it went up 5% uh, because of the interest crediting, you could take out 5% that next year. Okay. Okay, um, not going to cover anything regarding annuitization, um, although it, it, in every annuity, whether it be structured for safe growth or income, you have the ability to what's, uh, what's called annuitize your contract, and that is essentially an exchange for the contract value. The insurance company will issue a lifetime payment or a period certain income payment um, you know, for that exchange uh, there. So you give them the contract value. And in exchange, you get a payment. Okay, finer points, the issue ages. Midland National Accelerate 5 is available at issue ages 0 to 85 for both qualified and non-qualified. 
There also are some nursing home confinement waivers that are added at no additional charge. And that covers the after the first contract anniversary, if the annuitant becomes confined to a qualified nursing home facility for at least 90 consecutive days, up to 100% of the accumulation of value is available each year while the annuitant is confined. This waiver is automatically included with your annuity at no additional charge. And if joint annuitants are named on the annuity, the waiver will apply to the first annuitant who qualifies for the benefit. A lot of peace of mind there. You know, as you get as you get older in age and retirement, you know, one of the concerns is that if we have a need for nursing home or confined care, well, we need the money to pay for it, or we may need money to pay for the treatments or our specialized care. And if that happens, rest assured that um, you know, in this annuity, you can access that money 100% of the accumulation value without incurring any penalties, early withdrawal charges, or market value adjustments. The surrender charges, uh, in this case, it's a five-year product. In all states except California, the surrender charge uh, starts at 9%. So if you exit early and don't fulfill all five years, if you exit in the first year, it started at 9%, and then that uh, surrender charge penalty decreases 1% per year. The last year of the contract, year five, it is at 5%, and then it obviously is zero in year six and beyond. All right, so that covers the uh, brochure part of our review. Now we're going to take a quick look at our hypothetical back-tested analysis and take a look at the specific index crediting strategies that are offered in the Midland National Accelerate 5 and uh, take a look at how they would have hypothetically performed over the last 10, 15, and 20 years if the data here is available. So coming in, they're listed in chronological order from highest to lowest in the 10-year column. We have the one-year BlackRock ESG US 5% point to point with the enhanced participation rate. So here you see the 1% enhanced participation rate rider being added, increasing the participation to 115%. And in that one year BlackRock over the last 10 years, if we own this uh, particular contract in the way that it's offered today, this product would have potentially performed at 8.67% annually. OK, an, an average rate of return of 8.67 percent on an annual basis. Now, in addition, the software takes it a step further and analyzes over the last uh, 20 years. What's the best 10 year performance and what's been the worst 10 year performance? So in this case, over the last 20 years, the best 10 year period was from December 30th of 2009 to December 30th of 2019. And the average annualized rate of return was 9.04%. And on the opposite side, the worst performing 10-year period, this is still a positive number. The red just indicates the worst 10-year performance. It's still a positive number, though. It's not negative. And that was from December 30th of 06 to December 30th of 2016. And the average annualized rate of return would have been 5.88%. Coming in number two is the one-year fidelity multi-factor yield 5%. Average 10-year performance over the last 10 at 7.16. Best 10 at 8%. And worst 10 at 4.97 from December 30th of 2000 to December 30th of 2010. I think that's a great period of time to really make a decision or at least help you make a decision on whether or not this annuity is something you should be considering. That 10-year period from 2000 to 2010 is known as the lost decade. During that time frame, we had two uh, financial crises, uh, the first one being the dot-com bust in the early 2000s, and then the global financial crisis in 2007 and 2008. And because of those two black swan events during that 10 years, um, it was very rough uh, for the economy, and very few people had any positive growth during that entire 10 years. So they call it the lost decade because of that reason. I always say in these annuities, don't make your decision based on the best case scenario, make them on the worst case scenario. And if you can get sleep at night, knowing that in, in a very bad period of time, this thing still would have performed at 4.97% on an average annualized rate of return, which I think is still great at 5% with no risk. Um, 
to the markets, you know, I think that's a very, uh, very good story to, you know, to understand. And, and I think it really speaks loudly to, you know, what these things can potentially do. But anyways, again, make your decisions on the worst case scenarios, not the best or averages. Over the last 15, the uh, Fidelity multifactor is at 6.55% average annualized rate of return. And over the last 20, back tested at 6.06. .06. And then coming in third, last but not least, the S&P Mark V at 6.54. Over the last 10, best 10 at 7.1, which is from 2009 to 2019. And again, worst 10, 6.54, 2010 to 2020, December 30th. Okay. All these top three are all the enhanced participation rate riders with that 1% annual charge. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Now, if we want to take that rider fee off and say, well, what do they look like without it? Very simple. With the click of a button, we can take that rider fee off and it's going to um, show us the available options without the enhancements. And so we'll see the one-year BlackRock, the par rate, came from uh, came down from 115% to 70%. The average annualized over the last 10 at 5.31, 5.54 best 10, and then lowest 10, uh, worst 10 at 3.6. The Fed Fidelity multi-factor, the par rate goes to 70% on that one. 4.38 over the last 10, 4.9 best 10, 3.05 worst 10. And then the S&P Mark V goes to 65%, and that's a 3.9 average 10, 4.23 best 10, 3.9 worst 10. So I uh, hope that addresses the understanding of what these can do with and without the enhanced riders. But with that being said, we're going to move on to the last portion of our review. Only got a few more minutes left. And... Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a sample illustration just to kind of show you what this thing could do or look like rather on uh, an enhanced uh, with the enhanced rider. So here we have the guaranteed portion of the, the uh, actual uh, illustration. It's just showing as an example of someone putting in $100,000. And then with that 1% charge, you'll see the account value going down uh, in a negative manner because the guaranteed portion is assuming that there's been no growth ever credited to this contract. So obviously the index credits are not guaranteed. It's all based on how those indexes perform and how the crediting strategies do. But it's just showing you the guarantee that there are no negative adjustments because of market volatility, but you are seeing it go downward because of that 1% annual charge. Now, if we come right to the second page, and these hypothetical values, what we're looking at is the most recent 10 calendar year period being projected moving forward. So we have the $100,000 coming in. Um, in this case, we're, we're illustrating the one-year BlackRock with the 1% enhancement to bring the participation up to 115%. And we'll see that that first year, um, we have a nice credit that comes in. The 10.05% credited to the account value bringing the end of the first year balance to $109 and $53, $109,053. The second year, we have a 8.54% interest credit that's applied, growing the account value to 117 and change. The third year, we have a 11.4% interest credit, growing it up to 129. 9.48% comes in during year four, growing it to 140,000. And then that fifth year you see is zero. That's indicating uh, at some point during the last 10 years where the BlackRock would have not performed well. Well, if it was negative, you're, st you're only going to get a zero. So in this case, the value went to 139000 But that very next year, if you kept that contract longer than five years, got a nice interest credit coming in at 6.14, growing it to 146000 You'll see here in this illustration that the death benefit always matches the account value. Okay, so dollar for dollar in this case. And then you'll see the columns, the surrender value, that's, a, that's incorporating the surrender charge. And then the minimum guaranteed surrender value is showing the surrender charge plus the um, market value adjustments, assuming there's never been any interest credited. There are minimum guarantees that 
you know, regardless of what happens with the, the economy, they can't, t- you know, take more than what's, what's um, allowed in this minimum guaranteed value if you were to exit early. Okay. So I hope that that brings um, some, some light to the Midland National Accelerate 5 to help you make it ultimately an educated decision on if this annuity is right for you. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like to work with me directly, you can visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right there on the main page, click the green button to request your free report. And I would be happy to uh, get in contact with you once you fill that uh, request out. Uh, Again, I'm an independent annuity advisor. I work with clients in all 50 states. Um, I'd be honored to work with you or someone that you may know that's looking for advice on fixed indexed annuities or any other fixed annuity products. And I would be thankful for that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning. Give us a like or thumbs up or share with your friends and family. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Jeremiah Conjure from Annuity Association signing off. Hope everybody has a great day out there. Take care of one another. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.